How's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to talk to you about front end and back end and how to decide between these two. Uh, so this video is going to be especially useful for those of you that may just be getting started in your development career. Maybe you're just kind of wondering, where do I start with all this? I want to be a developer, but how do I actually begin? Uh, it's also useful for those of you that maybe are a back end developer thinking about getting into front end or even vice versa. Uh, hopefully this video kind of describes what front end and back end are and how you can kind of get started learning one or the other. So firstly, a little bit about me. Um, so I've been in software for the past uh, eight years or so. So I initially started as a front end developer uh, doing things like Angular JS and building some web applications. I eventually kind of uh, pivoted into full stack. And from there I went into back end, which I've been doing for the past, I think three year, three or so years now. Um, so that's a little bit about me. And this is going to be a complete unbiased, honest opinion of what I think about these different roles and what they are. So this is just my opinion. Um, so first of all, let's start with front end is like, what is this thing, right? Uh, so front end is the uh, presentation layer. It's the uh, UI, which stands for user interface. So it's typically what you would interact with if you're using any kind of app. Uh, if you think of the Uber app on your phone, like all that dialogue that you see there, all the pictures, all of the flows that where you go between certain screens, that's all controlled by the front end application. And as a front end developer, that's what you would be working on. Um, so it really caters well to those of you that are creative, that have some kind of creative artsy background. And it's great because you get a very visual representation of the things that you're building. So you may spend like four or five hours at a keyboard, but at the end of the day, you're going to be, have a product on your screen, something that you can visually see that has a tactile feeling. Uh, and that can be very rewarding for some people. And the reason that I say that is because in the backend world, it's quite different. Often you're, you're working in the world of abstractions where there's not necessarily an output that you can look at at the end of the day. So like I said, it's great for people with a creative background. You get to define what the experiences look like. So how people are going to kind of traverse your app, uh, what the style will look like. So certain buttons or colors or animations, you get complete control over that as a front end engineer. Uh, so if that's something that appeals to you, the front end may be the right choice for you. So I would suggest front end for people that are just getting started in their development career, uh, just because it's very easy to get started and you don't need any kind of engineering background where where you have a brain that has a knack for um, logic and things like that. So if you're just getting started in software, you're just getting started in development, I think front end makes a lot of sense for a lot of people uh, simply because you get to see what you create. So it's an immediately a very rewarding experience. And also it's very, very easy to get started. So to get started with front end, you just need to know three main things. Um, so there's JavaScript for the kind of behavior. There's HTML for the structure of the page. And then there's CSS for the style of the page. Uh, with those three things, you can build some pretty complex applications. Of course, I'm oversimplifying it now in modern days. There's all these different frameworks like Angular and um, Vue.js and React. Um, so you can really get quite advanced in front end. Uh, so it's not a simple thing, but it's just very, very easy to get started. It doesn't really require a lot of background information. Uh, and I have a great JavaScript video where I kind of introduce you to some of the concepts of front end and JavaScript. I'll put that in the description section below uh, for you to watch after this. So that's what front end is. Just as a summary, you're, you're controlling how people are interacting with your application. You're defining the, the style, the views, the animations, uh, how things look. That's the basic idea. Uh, so on the opposite end of the spectrum is a back end engineer. Uh, and a back end engineer doesn't really focus on how things look. Um, they're more focused on abstractions or how things are fitting together. So usually creating systems and defining entities and saying, okay, when something happens to this entity, something else is going to happen to this entity. So that's typically what you're working on as a backend engineer. Now there's a whole bunch of other things that you also worry about. Um, so there's databases for the persistence layer and database optimization. Uh, you need to worry about things like concurrency and item potency. Uh, if you're working in a cloud environment, uh, you also need to know about cloud computing and the different technologies that are available to you. Uh, you need to know about service oriented architecture and how to define components so they can fit together easily. Uh, there's a whole bunch of very complicated advanced topics, uh, including even algorithm design. I forgot to mention that. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of advanced topics that are in there that is, uh, I think, better suited for someone that already has an engineering background, that already knows how to code, they know how to write algorithms, they know about data structures, and people that have a knack for uh, logic and abstractions. I think that's really where backend um, kind of shines. 
Uh, and there's a different element of satisfaction that comes with back end. You know, you're not necessarily working on making things look a certain way. But um, I often think that um, back end engineers, you're kind of in a thankless role because really you're powering a lot of the functionality that users experience. Uh, but often it's the guys on the front end that are z designing how things look that get the glory. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you're a back end engineer, it's often very thankless. You, you need to be humble. You're not going to get people coming to you saying, oh, I love the way this looks or I love the way that you did that thing. It's very, very subtle in terms of the things that you build and how they affect your product. Uh, so keep that in mind. So in the middle of these two things is the full stack engineer, which kind of meddles in both of these two things. So they do front end so they can define like how an application looks and kind of get that going very quickly. And um, they also know some backend components. Um, so the, the allure of the full stack role is that you can build applications that have a database, that have a backend, that have a front end very, very quickly. Uh, and I think the, the full stack role is kind of like a, a jack of all trades, but a master of none. Uh, you get to really uh, broaden your skill set, but you're not really going to get into the details of any of the front end or the back end, uh, unless you choose a specialization and really invest your time in there. Now, that being said, there's a lot of appeal for full stack engineers just because you can get applications from just an idea that's in your head all the way up into an actual product and stand that up very quickly. So that's why full stack engineers are in quite some demand now. Okay, so we talked about what front end is, what back end is, what full stack is. Now let's talk about like if you're trying to get a job, if that's all you care about and you want to get maybe the highest paying job or you want to get a job quickly, um, what should you do? Like should you learn front end, back end, whatever? Um, so I think this really depends on your background as an individual. So there's no real right answer for anyone, but I'll just give you a framework uh, in which you can apply that helps you decide. Um, so if you are a person that's just getting started in your development career, if you don't have any kind of engineering background, maybe you did social sciences or whatever, but you're just looking to pivot in your life and you want to get into development, I would hands down suggest you always start with front end. And the reason that I say that is kind of what I've been mentioning before, like you can build products and see the outcome of your efforts very quickly. So you get that satisfaction of putting all these hours in it. But at the end of the day, you have something on your screen. You have a UI that you can interact with to show your friends like, hey, this is what I built. So it's a very satisfying career path. And there's also quite a bit of demand for front end engineers, uh, although that you're probably going to be on the lower end of the pay scale as you get started. But as you progress into your career, you're going to get into those you know, six figures that most of these developers are making these days. Um, so th that's my suggestion if you're just getting started. Now, if you have a math, science, computer science, engineering background, uh, I would say even physics, you probably already know the basics of coding, the basics of abstractions and logic. Uh, so if that sounds like you, then you can pretty much start anywhere that you want. Uh, you can start with front end if you want. You can start with back end. Uh, I would say actually start with one of those. Don't start with full stack because um, you know you need to know one or the other before you get into the middle role. Um, so like I said, engineering background, you can basically do whatever you want. So what does a career path look like for a front end engineer? Uh, so say you just want to get started and eventually you want to get into back end. Uh, I would say start with front end. You, you build your skill set. You get acquainted with algorithms and data structures and all that stuff. And then eventually progress into a full stack role so that you can start interacting with databases and cloud computing and all that stuff. And at that point, if you feel like, um, you know, you really like the back end, you really like designing APIs, um, writing algorithms, fitting things together, then back end may be the role for you and you can easily pivot into that. Uh, conversely, if you really enjoy the physical element of building things and seeing things on a screen that look a certain way, then I think you can stick to front end and you can really specialize in that. There's a lot of complexity in there. So I hope this video has been useful, giving you some guidance on what you should learn if you're trying to get started in the development world. Uh, I'm going to put that link to that JavaScript video on the right here so you can take a look at that. Uh, and as always, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my next one. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.